What's going on, everybody? Sean Pierce Johnson here. We're at the first annual San Francisco Amp Show, and I am here with Touch Singleton of Singleton Guitar Works, just up the highway from me in Chino Hills, California. Touch, it is a pleasure to meet you. Thanks for being a part of the first annual Amp Show. So, and it's a pleasure to be here. Thanks for having me a chance, giving me a chance to be interviewed and to talk about what I do with Singleton Guitars. Yeah, we want to know as much about this stuff as possible. Go for it. Great, thank you. First off, I want to talk about uh, what I do. Uh, my guitars are all completely handmade, and everything that I do is comes from the heart. So it's something that I build as a labor of love. So although I'm a guitarist, I, I'm a guitarist first, I should say. I'm a professional guitarist first, and then I'm a builder. So as a result of that, my passion for playing translates into the passion of building, because again, it's you know uniform, one and the same thing here. So what I do is that I have a full line of guitars and I just introduce a entry-level line of guitars which was reviewed by Vintage Guitar Magazine starting off with Capella Model and then some of the other ones. But first of all, probably talk about what I have in hand right now. This is my forecast model and this is something brand new. I just um, finished this a couple of days ago and this is kind of a takeoff on a basic strat in terms of the basic configuration, but as you can see with this particular model, I have two P90s and a single in the middle, so I have that strat sound with just a little bump, with just a little beef on the edge there, so we have a little nice little ronch going on on the rock side, and it gets a very well variety of tones in terms of jazz, blues, rocks, any genre you're coming from, this guitar can handle. So, in talking about this guitar, this is a 25 and a half inch scale uh, guitar with a uh, uh, one piece carved top, which is quilted maple, as you can see. The fingerboard is leopard wood. Leopard wood? Leopard wood, yes. Where does that come from? You know what, I think it is a um, South American wood. I'm not exactly sure about the origin, but it might be South American and uh, kind of coming out of Brazil, um, Peru type of area. But anyway, a very uh, well-rounded toning, a well-rounded tone, which is kind of reminiscent of that of Paul Farrell. So it's kind of a cross between rosewood and ebony. So it feels good to the fingers. It has a nice, rich tone. Uh, I'm using also a uh, flame maple neck on this. And the body of the guitar, as I mentioned, this is spruce on the top. I mean, maple on the top. I'm using spruce on the back so it's something a little different that i tried with this particular model and it works out very well in terms of having a very balanced type of sound to it um hardware is i'm using hip shot for the bridge spurzel locking tuners uh graph tech nut and uh we employ um um the um frets or um nickel um jazz car frets jazz car frets very cool. Do you wind the pickups as well, or are these uh, another company's pickups that you put in there? We're using Seymour Duncan pickups and the uh, more exclusive models, and we have uh, the pickups available, but uh, right now this is outfitted with the Seymour Duncans, and these are stacked, so these are uh, P90 stacks. Very cool. We're hearing here. Cool. Well, uh, I'm going to let you uh, play us through a couple of your favorite tones that you like with this guitar. So right now we're starting with the bridge pickup right now. It's a Fender uh, Blues Junior, looks like, and this is, a, I guess it's a clean tone. Yeah, it was clean just for right now. <coughs> Got that, got that nice little spank that you need for the funky line, but there's a little bit of that bite to it, which I, I love about P90s. I love the P90 bite. So now he's slapped on a Zvex double rock. So let's go ahead and hear that touch. <laughs> Got that great growl. I really liked that. Very cool. Let's hear something from, uh, yeah, let's do a combined one with that middle single. Yeah, okay, so this is kind of the standard not strat tones here. So we're splitting the uh, coils between the middle, uh, this bridge pickup and the neck, and kind of give you kind of a funk type of a thing happening so you can hear what's happening on that side. So 
sweet. <laughs> See, whenever somebody plays with that tone, the, automatically for me, the guitar sound that comes to mind is a lot of the nice layered guitar work in Thriller. Like that little yeah, in between yeah, middle and bridge yeah. is just like, oh, that tone is just like, I can't get it. I can't get a tone like that. That was really rad. Very cool. Let's. Uh, I want to hear some of that uh, uh, neck P90. Let's go to that and okay. see what we got out of that. cool and of course this isn't the only guitar that you have here you've got other custom pieces as well we're gonna make sure we get you guys a sweeping shot coming in right now and uh, you've got a lot of really cool stuff let's uh, get a little bit more with this entry-level one I really intrigued by so this is the one that you had recently reviewed by vintage guitar magazine yeah. so what is the basics of this model and the entry-level spec of it okay Basically, what I wanted to do is have something a little bit more affordable for the college student. Somebody's just graduating, and he's a player, but he doesn't want to spend $3,000 for a boutique instrument. So here, we have a guitar that is handmade, completely handmade, all with USA parts, and we're doing this uh, at a map price of $13.99. So it makes it very affordable for most players, not just students, but for most players to be able to get in and have something that's basically a plug and play type of instrument. You don't have a whole lot of fiddling to do here. You pick it up, plug it in, three-way switch, master volume, master tone, P90s, a great tone. Just pick it up, play it. The neck feels good. It fits right into the body. It's lightweight. There you go. Yeah, I was playing a version of this, one of the more custom ones that you make the other day of this model, and I was really amazed at how well this particular body shape with its slight Telecaster-esque design really sits well in the body. A lot of people say that the Telecaster is the slab, but this particular one really melds into the body. It feels really comfortable in the hands and against the body. But this is a beautiful thing. That was a beautiful thing. All these are beautiful things. And you don't, don't build guitars, you also build basses. Uh, this five string that is right over here is of particular interest to me. I just love the radical body shape. The finish is great. So what is uh, kind of the deal with what you got going on here? This is the Sensei bass, and we call this Sensei for the obvious reason. It is the master bass, master. So it's, it's just a culmination of all a lot of good things all rolled into one. You know, as we know, everybody has the platform of the jazz bass being a standard for you know, modern music today. So we took that same platform and we developed the Sensei around that and that we have custom hand-wound singleton pickups that are done by Kerry Nordstrand for me. And we're using a um, passive pickup system with an active electronics. This is an Ordeer preamp. It is a beautiful blend, specifically because the Ordeer preamp does not color and add a whole lot of artificial type of tones. The premise of this bass is the tonality of the woods. And the platform on this is going to be the Louisiana Swamp Ash body. And as you can probably attest to from the way that you're holding this bass, it's lightweight. Yeah, so I'm, I'm still holding it. I'm still holding it. And I don't, don't notice it. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty good right now. That's about 7.9 pounds for a five-string bass. And again, this is... Uh, featherweight Louisiana swamp ash body. As you can see, this is a quilted maple top that we add on this. And that is a bird's eye maple finger, uh, neck with the uh, Macassar ebony fingerboard. And uh, beautiful piece. Like, 
I'm amazed by the quality of this. And what would be uh, the price, going price for this guy right here? This is a list at $3,500. The street price on that is going to be somewhere around twenty-two, dollars And, um, you know, it's quite affordable and quite comfortable to play. For something that's a master bass, I think that's a pretty good deal. If this is going to be the last bass you ever own, which at the weight and uh, what I'm hoping is going to be, a, and pretty sure is going to be a very awesome sound, I don't think that's a bad uh, deal at all. Well, Touch, thank you so much for taking us through your line. Uh, just give us a little bit, where can people go to find out more and how can they get in touch with you? Thank you for asking here. Yeah, I can be reached at www.singletonguitars.com. And... Um, we're there and uh, Facebook as well, Singleton Guitars on Facebook. Very cool. All right, guys, that was Singleton Guitars. I've been Sean Pierce Johnson. I'll see you soon.